guys in last class we discussed about data tables with uh, column headers and data tables without column headers and scenario and scenario outline and cucumber with phase object model all these concepts we had discussed just for five or ten minutes just i want to recap and after that we can discuss how to execute parallel test execution in uh, cucumber So in Cucumber, see scenario. So what is the definition of scenario? Scenario contains some set of steps which can be executed for particular test objective and all steps can be executed only once. So that is known as scenario and scenario steps can be executed with a predefined input values. Okay, scenario steps. Uh, so the main three points you have to tell. Scenario contains some set of steps to achieve particular test objective and all steps can be executed only once. That is the important point. And scenario steps can be executed with a predefined input values. That is known as scenario. Okay. See, see here we are getting user enters username as admin and password as admin123. So whenever that particular step got generated, it will generate like this. And we are getting uh, within the curling brackets, we are specifying a string username and password. So like that, we are reading the input values from the uh, corresponding step. Okay, like that scenario steps got generated. Now let's come back to the scenario outline. So what is the meaning of scenario outline? All steps can be executed. Okay, all steps can be executed for each set of input data as defined in the example section. Okay. So here, see here background and scenario outline, all steps can be executed when the skill name is Oracle 1 and when the skill description is Oracle 1 description. Again, all steps can be executed when the skill name is Oracle 2 and Oracle 2 description. Again, all steps are executed when the skill name is Oracle 3 and skill description is Oracle 3 description. So like that, you, so each time new session will be started and set of steps will be executed. Okay, so skill name and skill description here, these things we can call it as the parameters. Okay, so like that we can able to achieve the parameterization concept by using scenario outline. So same thing, so the set of steps has been generated with curling bracket string and we are getting the string skill name and skill description. Okay, so now let's see the next one is data tables without header. See here, create job records three. Okay, so what is data table with header without headers? If anybody will ask how you need to explain in the interviews. So for a particular step, if it contains only some set of input values, okay, only that particular step, if it if a particular step contains multiple sets of input data and it doesn't have any column headers, so that concept you can call it as a data table with headers, without headers. So to read input values. Okay, so at the method level, data table object will be created, and we have to write data table dot cells of. Okay, list of list string skills data is equal to, and we are iterating those input data for integer i is equal to zero, i less than skills data dot size of, and i plus plus, and skills data dot get off i dot get off zero, skills data dot get off i zero dot get off one. So when the i is equal to 0, the iteration will be iterated. When the i is equal to 1, the second iteration will be started. So like that, multiple iterations, it will be completed. Okay. People will ask you in the interviews, what is the difference between data table with headers and data tables without headers? Okay. With headers, without headers means for a particular step, it doesn't have column headers. And it contains only set of input values. Okay. So if you are writing like that, so to read those input values, you need to write data table dot cells of, okay? So that all cells will be stored in a list object. So list of list string skills data is equal to. 
So that is the syntax part you have to explain in the interviews. And the data tables with the headers. So if a particular step contains column headers and it contains multiple sets of input values, okay, for that particular step, step definition dot Java file will be generated. Uh, step definition uh, steps will be generated with the data table object at method level. And to read those values, we need to write a list of map string comma string skills data is equal to data table dot as maps of string dot class comma string dot class. And we have to iterate those set of input data. Okay, so you have to explain these two in these two syntaxes. Okay. Just to practice this one without uh, take a pen and paper and by heart these syntaxes. This is very very important. So almost in every interview, people are asking me. Okay, so by heart these syntaxes and complete this part data tables with headers. Okay, so this is what we discussed and cucumber page object model. So we already discussed. I am not explaining these things. So separate page class file we are writing and we are importing those page class files in the step definition dot Java class file. And we are creating object and we are calling the required methods as per the test case functional flow in step definition dot Java file. All right. Now let's see how to execute scenarios in parallel. Okay. What is the last one we discussed? POM Cucumber 4. Yes. See, to execute your scenarios in parallel, you have to write these two things. So these are the two things you have to specify. So if you are specifying Boolean value as true, so those scenarios can be executed in parallel. If you are specifying as false, those things can be executed one by one. So now let's see, I have enabled this, uh, this uh, Boolean value as true. Now let me show you. So education dot feature file. Education dot feature file. One second. Not this one. Okay. Okay, UOM Cucumber 4. So, what I'm doing is I am copying all these steps one more time. So, here I'm creating MC4, 5, and 6. So, here my feature file contains two scenarios. I want to execute it parallel. Okay, so just you can navigate to test runner three dot Java class file and execute it. That's it. So in my JUnit platform properties file, I specified this one. Okay, let's see both sessions. It will be started parallelly. 
scenario one and scenario two both will be executed parallel. See, two sessions got started parallel. In one step, scenario one scenario is executing. In another step, another scenario is executing. See here, parallelly it's executing. One second. So now let's go back to target folder, Kumbar reports, Kumbar HTML report open with browser. See, so here this is this is got executed and this is got executed. So here two sessions got started at a time. Okay, if I want to execute it one by one, I have to make it as false. That's it. So this thing you no need to change anything, and I am I made it as false. So now I am coming back to my education dot feature file. This time, once one scenario is executed, then only next session will be started. So that means it will be executed one by one. See here, only one session got started. Previously, Two sessions got started at a time. See now second session got started. So like that we can able to achieve parallel execution. So this is one way and I'm going to tell you second approach as well. <clears throat> Right. So now like that we have executed. Now let's come back to the next one. So here Kumbar runner test. This is another one. Okay. So at the rate data provider, at the rate data provider means this is the annotation tag from test engine. See, at the rate data provider means see org dot test dot annotations data provider. This is the supporting class files we are importing from test ng framework. It's not related to J unit. See, if it is J unit, my programs, so my uh, test runner class previously it has been executed with the J unit supporting class file library. My runner class was executed with the supporting of J unit framework because I have imported org dot j unit dot runner dot runner with. So these are the support by using this supporting library. I executed my test runner dot Java class file. Okay, but this cucumber run tests, this is the supporting class, this is the runner class. I am using org dot test ng dot annotations data provider. So that means I am using test ng framework not J unit framework. Okay. So by using test ng framework also, we can execute the scenarios in parallel. See here I am writing simply you need to write. So this is the predefined lines of code uh, to execute the scenarios. So as usual, you have to specify the SRC test resources features and what is the feature file that we want to execute education. Education dot feature file. So this is the feature file I want to execute. Okay, let me change it. So my input data is ready. And here I am writing at the rate data provider parallel is equal to true. Okay, if I'm writing parallel is equal to true means my scenarios will be executed in parallel. If I will write parallel is equal to false, my scenarios will be executed one by one. Okay, now I'm writing parallelly. So now we'll select this uh, Kumbar runner test. So right click, go to run as. So this time you will able to see test ng test. 
if it is j unit you will see j unit okay so that means the test runner class file we are executing by using testng framework so i am clicking on testng test See two sessions. One second, something went wrong. There are some unimplemented lines of education regard to. Okay, okay. Selenium glucose five. I have to test. Okay, okay, right. Cucumber runner test. Okay, run as. One second. Something went wrong. Is there is some. Test. Right. See the two sessions got started at a time. So both. So here one scenario. So here another scenario. It's running parallelly. It's executed. So that means by using. So in the runner class, we have to import at the rate data provider. And at the rate data provider annotation tag here in the parentheses, we have to specify parallel is equal to two, so that the test scenarios can be executed in parallel for that. Okay, so now if I want, to, so if I want to execute it one by one, so just I'm doing this one. I am saving my input data. So now. I'm specifying as false. I'm saving. So this time, okay, my scenarios will be executed one by one. So let's run this. Already POM Cucumber run four out is default. We already shared. See, this time it's executing one by one. So like that, your it are those are executing one by one. So in the interviews, people will ask you a question. Okay, how to execute scenarios in parallel in Cucumber framework? Okay, so you have to tell we have to import data provider supporting class from ORG testng annotations, and in the runner class we have to write annotation tag as at the rate data provider parallel is equal to true. And we have to write scenarios, and you need to write inside the class. You need to write a method name as public scenarios. So the method name I had given scenarios, and we have to write return dot super dot scenarios of, and the return type for this method is generally we will write a method name public void like this. So instead of void, we have to specify this. We can call it as a two dimensional object array. Okay. So instead of specifying void, you have to write Two dimensional object array. So, like that, we have to write so that scenarios can be. Ma, Dima, guys, somebody is not on mute. I am going to remove you from the group. Mamshi, I am going to remove you from the group. Okay, got the point, right, everyone? So in the interviews, if people will ask how to achieve parallel testing in Cucumber. So you have to tell, we have to write Cucumber runner test class and which, are, which can extends abstract test ng Cucumber test. So this is the complete part we have to tell. Okay. And we have to write at the rate data provider parallel is equal to true. And we have to write public two dimensional object array scenarios of method and written dot super dot scenarios of 
so that scenarios can be executed in parallel. If you write at the rate data provider parallel is equal to false, so that scenarios can be executed sequentially one by one. This is one way. And second way is the easiest approach is if you are using test runner class by using JUnit platform, you no need to change anything in the test runner.java class. So only in the properties file, you need to write cucumber.execution.parallel.enabled is equal to you can specify either true or false. If you are specifying true means the scenarios can be executed in parallel. If you are specifying parallel is if parallel enabled is false, the scenarios can be executed in one by one. So these are the two ways we have to test. Okay. So now let's go to the next point. So here I'm specifying education dot feature file, correct? So here my education dot feature file contains multiple scenarios. And suppose if I don't specify this one, and I specified like this, SRC test resources, features folder contains all the uh, feature folder contains education dot feature file, jobs dot feature file, nationality dot feature file and skill five dot feature file. Okay. So all these scenarios can be executed. All these feature files can be executed in parallel. Got the point? So like that. And same thing in test runner three dot Java class file also, oh, sorry, in the JUnit platform properties file also, if you don't specify the particular feature file, and you are writing up to here, all those feature files can be executed in parallel. Okay, so like, and if you want to execute a particular feature file, simply you can write nationality dot feature file. But if you don't want to specify and you want to execute all your feature files, you can write like, got the point everyone? Okay, so like, okay. one second, I will tell you, I want to tell you one more thing, control C. I'm taking copy. I have taken copy and I'm under SRC test resources. So I'm pasting features folder again, features to folder. Okay, let us assume there is one more features folder. Okay, so and it contains, okay. Okay, I'm deleting everything here. So here my nationality dot feature file. Okay. So this scenario is add nationality dot feature file. Okay, add nation. So creation of new records. And second one is I have written modify, modify nationality feature file. And third one is delete nationality file. Got the point? Right. And here my feature file contains this one. And here it contains some another set. And here it so means I have written set of steps accordingly. And I have implemented, let us assume the set of steps and implementation driver commands are invoking from step definition dot Java file. Suppose in add nationality dot feature file, just I'm writing. Okay, saving. And coming back to so this is some another one, okay. Okay, and modify nationality feature. And my feature folder also I can rename it to nationality. I can rename it to nationality here. So features underscore nationality. Now I want to execute only module related scenarios, particular module related scenarios. I want to execute it. So what I need to do, I have to take this path and I need to go back to my JUnit platform properties file. And here I have to specify this. Okay. 
and if i want to execute particular feature file you can write slash add underscore nationality dot feature if you want to execute delete nationality 3 you can execute if you want to execute modify underscore nationality 2 you can execute but i want to execute all the things not specific one so i am writing like this okay so let's run this part now so test runner 3 dot java class file i am taking and uh, junit platform properties file i'm making as true i'm saving and test runner 3 dot java class file okay how many sessions started okay another session still it's running on it's going on so all three sessions got started at a time and it's closed one by one okay parallel execution got completed so that means i have executed particular module related feature file like got the point everyone okay so if you want so this is one way so particular module related feature files that you want to execute create a feature file and specify the path in the junit platform properties that folder name okay under this folder name if you want to execute specific thing just you can write slash and add underscore nationality dot feature file so whichever feature file that you want to execute dot feature like this. So like that we can. Okay. Now if you want to execute all module related test cases, just remove it. That's it. it can be executed parallel. All the feature, whatever feature file does it contains, it can execute all everything in parallel. Hope everyone is clear how to achieve parallel testing in Cucumber. Parallel testing can be achieved in two ways by using JUnit platform. Just in the properties file, you need to write Cucumber enabled flag, parallel dot, Cucumber dot execution dot parallel dot enabled is equal to true. This is the line only you have to write in your properties file. Okay, so that your scenarios can be executed in parallel. This is one way. And second way is by using testng framework, we can execute scenarios parallel. So most of the companies they are using at the rate data provider, most of the companies, but whatever this concept I told you, JUnit platform properties file, this is the latest one. Uh, it has been added in JUnit file, okay? So still some of the people, they doesn't know, but most of the companies still they are using data provider. Anyway, our agenda is to execute parallel. So if you, are my, so if you want to execute the feature files by using JUnit, just one, only one, one parameter, but Still, most of the companies they are using this one only. So at the rate data provider, parallel is equal to true. Okay. And what type of class it can be extended? So that is the question people are asking. Which class it is extending? Abstract test runner cucumber test. So these are the predefined class. See, this is the predefined class. So to execute your scenarios in parallel, what are the supporting class files that we have to use? So data provider and abstract test, uh, test engine cucumber test and anyway cucumber options. It is, these three things are required. So here we are writing at the rate cucumber options. So here my test runner three dot Java class file, it is not referring from JUnit platform properties file. If it is test engine framework, if it is test engine framework, means if my runner class is test engine, 
So I am not referring properties from this platform, JUnit hyphen platform properties file. I am referring from this location. Got the point? So like that, I am executing SRC test resources and feature files. So that's it on the parallel execution of Synapse. Okay. So Aruna will take session on another topic, so general labs. Uh, and let me know. I can plan in the next session. Online. So this question is only for online people. So just uh, just raise your hand or ping me in chat. On last Saturday, okay. On last Saturday, we have discussed about phase object model with cucumber. Okay. So do you want one more lab that I want to plan? So I have given almost six labs completion uh, lab part we did. If anybody want, I can repeat the same session by tomorrow. If don't want, I can continue the next steps. So, so just let me know how many people want to just ping me in chat. Specific people who are is interested, just let me know so that I can repeat the session. Because Cucumber page object model is the most important topic in Cucumber. Okay, sir. See, if nobody is asking, I can go for next topic. I want to love how many people Dinesh H, H means who, who is the name H means only two people got raised three people Madhu three okay so tomorrow session I'm planning okay Hinduvati okay so tomorrow is the last session for Cucumber Pays Object Model. Okay, if you want to survive in the industry, if you want to continue once you got selected for any of the company, the mandatory part is you have to complete Cucumber, POM underscore Cucumber 4. These are the labs, see how many feature files that we did. We did almost so many labs, education, jobs, nationality skills. So the same class I can take by tomorrow as well. Okay. And tomorrow we can also see again parallel execution. Okay. So that's it on the Cucumber. And um, so, so far, what are the, in Cucumber, what are the topics that we have learned? Just tell me. Scenario, one second. Second one, scenario outline. Data table data table without headers fourth one data table with header guys if anybody is zoom batch people or previous batch people are there just take the videos from we are posting all the videos in the august batch just ask karuna madam she can forward you all the labs and zip files okay okay data tables with headers okay and phase object model. We have learned phase object model with Cucumber. Okay, today we have learned about parallel execution. Parallel execution, how many ways? Execution by using JUnit and by using test 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 uh, test engine. Okay, these are the two ways we have learned. And tomorrow's class, we are going to learn tax concept. Very, very important concept. The deep master should they are asking questions on tax, cucumber tax. Okay. And tomorrow's topic again, one more tag. Um, okay. If I'm having time, I can focus on this lab as well. Hoops concept. And cucumber hoops and cucumber tags. That's it. So there are total eight concepts are there. So we are close to completion of Cucumber. So tax and hoops. So after completion of tax and hoops, our Cucumber topics will be completed. Okay. So these are the eight topics. Everyone has to complete their labs. And um, what is the next one? Okay. So terminology wise, what are the terminology that you have to learn? What is the feature file? What is the definition of feature file? 
what is the scenario so scenario outline so definition what you have to learn okay uh, fourth question a uh, data table with header without headers what is the concept of data tables without headers they will ask you this question and they will also ask you about data tables without headers so what are the questions they will ask you i'm just i'm noting down okay that's it only data tables with headers so scenario outline okay uh, next sixth one okay what is bdd first point is i have to specify feature file and what is bdd so this is the question they are asking okay how to achieve parameterization how to achieve parameterization so they will ask questions in different ways that's what i am telling you. how to achieve parameterization in cucumber how to be how how many ways we can able to achieve parameterization by using scenario outline and data tables in data table again two concepts data table with headers and data table without headers so by using these ways we can able to achieve the parameterization so parameterization means whatever uh, variables that you are using whatever parameter names that you are using for the input values those things we can call it as a parameters and what is the question how to execute parallelly how to execute parallel 